104 and today I'm back with another video. And today I will show you how to make particle emitters. This is what it looks like. Well, this is the one that I made, but you can make any um, particle emitter that you want. So um, I'm going to teach you how they work and what you can do with them, like this or something. So let's get straight into the video, shall we? Let's go. Alright, first what you want to do in um, Roblox Studio is what you want to do is go to home, it's probably already open for you. Click on this, this cube right here, and click on that, and there it is. Um, what you want to do now is, um, part, what you want to go is go to view, and then go to explore and properties. Because these are, these two are really important for this. Now what you want to do is, what you want to do is select the part, and what you want to do, now what you want to do is, um, right click on it, go to insert object, hover over it, and then go to particle emitter up here, click on it, and voila, you just, the particle emitter, added the particle emitter, and now there's particles coming out of it. You can edit it in any sort of way. You know how I had it like tilted this way and it was yellow and stuff? Well, I, I want to show you how to do that right now. Here we go. Alright, so what you want to do, here's properties over here. Um, what you want to do is, you wanna, um, there's like so much stuff you can do. Like here's appearance. What you want to do is click on color You can change the color of it. Like. If I wanted to be blue, it can change the blue. If I want it to change to like mint, well, red or something, change to red. That actually looks kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> um, what you want? Um, there's light emission. You can change like if you want it to different. It's like light or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, different. I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, that's what it does with light emission. Um, light influence, I'm not sure what this does, but, um, it's something, but I don't know what it does. Um, let me change that back. I use you can change the size of them, change the size of the particles, change it to two, they come bigger. Um, <laughs> what's going on? Um, I think it's broken or something. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> there we go, yeah, okay, here we go. So I changed the size to 2, and it became bigger, uh, so let me change it to, change it to like 30, or no, we don't want to do that, change it to 30, it becomes bigger, uh, I'm just going to put it on 1 point. Change the transparency, like you change if it's visible or invisible, or how visible it is, whatever, I don't know. Transparency, if you change the 1, it becomes completely invisible, I don't know why you would want to do that, but... You do it. You change it zero point five. Change it halfway. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it on zero because you want to see it, right? All right. Z offset. You can change that. What it does is like it disappears more and more particles that come up. So if you change it like five or something, uh, I think more and more go away. Yeah. That's what that does. Okay, if you change it to like 20 or something, then what the heck is that? Oh wait, so like if you go up and like the particles right there, I don't know. <sighs> I'm just gonna put it on one right now. Acceleration, what this does is um, you can change like which direction it goes. So I'm gonna do like one mm, comma zero comma zero. It's gonna go a different direction. So it's going this way now. Change the direction to go this way. If you and you want to change it to like maybe zero comma zero comma one, it's gonna change direction. It's, it's gonna stop going that way, and now it's gonna go start going this way. You can change it to uh, zero comma one comma zero. See where that goes. It's gonna start going a different way. See where that goes. It's going uh, on that direction. It's, Basically, we're before, but it's going higher now, actually. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put it on 0, comma, wait, no. 1, comma, 0, comma, 0. Alright, 
Now, we're moving on to here. So, particles. So, drag means... Um, what are we gonna find out? Okay, drag means, like, it's gonna like, stop all the particles up here. It's gonna start doing it down there. Let's see what happens on one. So, it's gonna start, like, coming out more. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can make, like... Make some... Hold on, let me see this. See what you can do with this. Um, I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna figure something out. Um, this is actually lagging out my game, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, um, turn it off. Alright, so we're back to normal. Um, okay, so, let's see. Walk to part. Um, I'm not sure what that does. It's just nothing, I don't know. <laughs> Velocity inheritance. What this does is, is, um, I don't know. <laughs> Someone could tell me in the comments what that does. I don't know what that does. Um. Um, emission direction, this is going to tell which direction it's going to come from. So right now it's coming from the top of the brick. You can go from the back, which is right here. It's going to start going this way. And if you look up, it can, you can see it going that way. And you can make it come from, like, the left side, which is over there. You can make it come from the right side, which is over there. And it can come from the front, which is over there. And it can, it can come from the bottom because it's going to come through there because we can't see it. We can't see it now. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it on top. So, particle emitter. Go back over here. Alright. Now, oh yeah, we're already on, we're on a mission now. So, enabled. What this does is just disables it. So, if you keep it um, unchecked, then it's disabled. Keep it checked, then it comes back enabled. Yeah, you get it. Okay. Next time, what this does is, um, it, um, it, um, so what it does, I think, if more come out, like, at, like, when you're in game, let me just go in the game. I think what happens is more and more come out or something, and then, like, the bottom, and it comes out, like, 10, and then at the top, it comes out as 20. I think that's what it does. Alright, next, what we're gonna talk about is, let's see, what is next? What is in the box? Let's right, go get back to 5, 10. There we go. Rate, change how much come out. So, change to 30. There's more coming out. Look at this right here. See that there's more. Change to like 10. And there's less coming out. See that right there? And rotation, you could change like how like the how this rotates in there. Okay, the time's okay. We're almost done with this video, guys. Rotation, you can change that to 10. Rotation speed, like you can make it rotate. See if they rotate like that. Um, Alright. Speed, you can change how fast they go in the air. You can change it to 10, they go fast. So feist. And then spread angle, last thing. Change it like oh you could change it to like how they sprinkle out. Look at this. I can make a fountain out of this if you can like, change it to blue or something. <laughs> What's this? There. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways guys, that concludes the video on particle meters. If you wanna see more how-to videos like this, then comment down below and I'll make sure to read all your comments and Make sure to subscribe and like that, like this video, and stay tuned till the next video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.